the things I need of you, things you may not understand and may not wish to do, but please do not make the same mistakes I did. My father, Howard, deserted me before I was born. I could claim the loss of my mother in the letter I received after her funeral. Blinded me to what I had to do. It would be a lie. Human nature sealed my downfall. My name is Philip. If we are lucky, then those, then by the time you receive this, I will not, I will be dead. Okay, I missed the reading of that. Frictional games. Penumbra Overture, episode one. Where's my bloody remote? Welcome to Penumbra Overture. Improve your experience. Please follow the advice below. Turn off all lights. Well, that's already done. I just need to close these window shades. Turn contrast to max. Just brightness below, so the image is barely visible. Let's have a look at these settings here. Hmm. Yes, let's turn this on. Ooh, let's just be safe and leave that off for now. Um, yeah. Fuck. Okay, so... <laughs> get this shit out of here. I don't need things to flash. Let's have a look at the controls here. By the way, for those watching the lot of this, this is actually being live streamed at the moment. But why you do this? If I don't have to reload, then no, that that just doesn't work. Do I have a flashlight. Yes. Okay, that'll stay on F. Okay, movement. Yep. Interaction. Uh, interact mode. I don't know what the hell that means. Glow stick. Hmm. Okay, let's just put that there. In ranked mode. Definitely need the old glow stick here. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. And we're back, fully. Made myself a bit of tea. For players who are bad at action games, nope. Give me your challenge. My story began in February, the year 2000. February, damn it. I would furnish from my mother's life before I was even in it. So when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I've ever heard from him. Pity he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my blood line. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. If the bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and said the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. 
My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at, the world renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever taken. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realized my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day. And I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. Finally, we're almost docked. I'd better stow my gear. I may be far from home, but the chances are I can still pick up things using left mouse, and I can take a closer thing look at things using right mouse. Yay, breaking fourth wall. Okay. Well, this is fairly interesting. Okay, so I'm not going to turn on the AO scene just because I don't feel like restarting the game again. Pretty goddamn stupid. But okay, I was going to turn the graphics up a bit, considering I'm getting a solid 30 right or 60 right here, with fraps recording and the signal being bounced to a uh, secondary or second monitor. crew seemed friendly enough, but just in case, I locked them my valuables. I'm pretty sure the key's in my inventory somewhere. Once I found it, double click on the left mouse button should get it selected. Then I can press interact on the padlock to unlock it. The key for my old padlock. There's not much light in here. My flashlight could come in handy. Could come in handy if the torch runs out of batteries. I should be able to access this through my inventory with the blah blah blah. Oh, it's a mixed with batteries to better make the flashlight. Okay, what's with the camera right now? Get out of here, Campbell Soup. Oh no. It's the Golden Eye system. Oh man, this may have been a bad idea. This is supposed to be a Halloween type thing. And here I am playing with uh, physics. Whee! Get out of here! A map. I'm certain this map's a good decade or so out of date, but landmarks don't change much in Greenland, so I've got a pretty decent idea of where I'm heading. It's good to have a notebook to jot down the interesting information and reminders. I think I left my torch in the desk. I think I left my torch in the desk drawer next to the bed, keeping open using my left mouse on it, holding the blah 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 tutorial. Hmm, Jack Daniels. Oh, I can't pick it up. I didn't do that. Get out of your chair. Those watching on YouTube, uh, you probably noticed by now that the highest resolution this video is offered in is in 360p. That's a necessity because I don't want to have to rely on the live stream VOD. What the hell does that sound? I don't want to have to rely on the live stream VOD for the uh, video because obviously the quality is kind of crap. Hmm. Dearest Eric, just a quick note before you sit sail and leave me alone once again. 
I've left you a little something to remember me by in the chest at the foot of your bed. I do, really don't know why you still only have one bed on board, taking shifts because of it is no way to get, a, get your rest. But what does a fisherman's wife know of life at sea? I'll be praying every night for you to make the catch you need, so that you can come home safely. And soon. Please don't be gone for five weeks like last time. I know it might nag sometimes, but I do love you, you know. I've washed these overalls of yours, and I know you'll get them covered in a sort of fish parts in no time, but I still feel better knowing they've had a wash. Before I forget, the, he the Heinrichsons in the village have asked me to see if you'll be coming by any trout, but I said they were mostly out of season. If you do happen upon any, don't say anything. Stir them all in the ice, and I'll do something special with them to celebrate when you come home to me. Smee, yeah. The ship's captain deserves a little special treatment every once in a while. Take care, my lord. Okay, I can close this now. Don't know what the hell kind of accent that was, but whatever. Get out of the way! I have a desk to open. Grab a torch. stepped off the boat, setting out into the blizzard that had formed around me. I realized how utterly devoted I'd been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first, but I lost feeling in my extremities soon after, and a new hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for shelter. shelter soon. I am professional voice actor. I do professional voicing. My entire he head went numb a long time ago, but I can still hear the wind roaring past. Or is that some kind of animal? Didn't get to read all that. Thank you, game. Let's run. Keeps you warm. What in the hell is that? I don't care. I need shelter. Looks frozen shut. Need something to break in. sprinting. The live stream can't really see a thing here. Sorry, but that's how everything is. Interact mode. Oh, that was bloody simple. I hope to God it's not frozen inside as well. So weak. If I just use interact mode, I should blah blah blah. Tutorial. Or not really tutorial, but breaking fourth wall.
That wasn't a pleasant sound. Can't hear a thing. Oh, there we go. Jesus, my head. I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Although, looking around, maybe I didn't. What is this place? It's too far away. Blood, but I should be okay. Okay. Come on, tell me something about this. Or don't. scared of the dark like uh, Daniel from Amnesia is? Hmm, what's this? Nothing. I feel I can't actually do anything when the look icon comes up. There. Nothing. How about a nice warm cup of shut the fuck up? No. See, I can swing this hammer if I blah blah blah. Hmm. Must be something in the way. Hmm. Okay then. Oh, throwing a box at it didn't help. Puzzle time. but a neat checkpoint based game. Well, that didn't do anything. Maybe I can do something without the hammer. Nope. Whoop. Okay. Up 
there. Get up there. Okay, so I guess I had to roll the barrel around to get up a uh, very small incline. to game. Hmm. Wait, I'm back here. Huh. Okay. I wonder. So I'm guessing the uh, glow stick is uh, or lasts forever. What the hell? This is a maze and a half. Okay, back here. I've already been here. way to go. The only thing I can think of is maybe I'm supposed to find a way to go down here. That's just seriously solid and it won't open by hand. Someone obviously wanted to keep people out or in. Yeah, it took me long enough to figure out. You gotta, you're supposed to press the damn uh, right button. 